uh, helical convoluted tube hydroforming machine. Uh, this unit here will hydroform uh, helical pattern tubes that's used mainly for EGR tubes. It could be used for gas lines. Here we're getting a look at the tooling. There's a tooling where we place the tube. There's an upper and lower die. This system uses water. Has capability of forming up to 60,000 psi. The unit is designed and built by AMH. This particular unit is a very, very low production machine. We're using manual valves to uh, to create the pressure and uh, to clamp it and unclamp it. The unit is uh, electrical driven, hydraulic powered. Looking at the back side of it here, you can see the little reservoir, hydraulic reservoir to the left. To the right is a water reservoir. Up here we're looking at a cylinder that raises and lowers the clamp. This unit is just uh, strictly for very, very low production. Looking at the, uh, there's a relief valve here, there's a shutoff valve, and there's a PO check valve, and of course there's the gauge. Up here we have the clamp assembly. Uh, uh, it's got a hydraulic cylinder that lifts the clamp up and down. Of course, the bolts, uh, you can see there's a bunch of bolts right here, and those are used to hold the dies down. We'll see that in operation here shortly. This is a specially designed uh, system by AMH that uh, we produce our own cylinder and make our own chamber for compressing the water to form the bellows or the convoluted tube. Uh, these are EGR tubes that we're making for GM and they're, uh, they're a helical fashion or design, not annular. So it's pretty tricky. The forming is coming out pretty good and the uh, die marks are very minimal. This is the first stage. You can see here where the tube is already inserted uh, into the, uh, the compression chamber seal assembly. We lifted the bottom clamp up to the tube to put it in line with the, uh, the, uh, the, the pressurizing system. We've collect, connected the, uh, the other end of the uh, system here where it allows us to uh, seal the tube and uh, uh, the relief valve that uh, dumps the pressure once we reach the uh, forming pressure. We're going to lower the top clamp. At this point, now we'll take uh, the socket head cap screws and bolt the, two, the top and the bottom assemblies together and ready to prepare for forming. Okay, now we're looking at the, the two dies completely clamped shut and uh, bolted down together and now we're going to get ready to form. Now he's turning on the water and the water is going through the system. He's got that valve shut. He shuts it now to make sure we purge all the air out of the system. And now he goes ahead and compresses it. Now the water is loaded in the system. And you'll notice here the pressure jumps up to about 22,000 psi, and the part is formed. That only takes about two, three seconds at the most. Fred has removed all of the uh, socket head cap screws. Now we're going to uh, raise the up, upper die. And here we'll take a good look at the uh, at the form tube. There it is, and that's an annular. Uh, I'm sorry, helical shape. This whole operation of the forming only takes uh, just a couple of seconds. Uh, uh, that's the forming itself, but to uh, pressurize it and uh, put all the uh, liquid and everything in there probably only takes about maybe uh, 10, 15 seconds at the most.
eyes are separated and uh, we see the tube, the form tube. Hope we can get a good shot of this here. The, uh, the white marks you see there is grease. We put grease on it so that it doesn't stick on the dies. You have to understand that this machine uh, can be made uh, as a high production machine. It's just that this one is, was made to uh, to make some spares for General Motors because they were in a bind and uh, nobody could would make them for them. So they made design this machine for that purpose. Uh, we could make a high production machine to do this operation, and it would probably take about uh, maybe 10 to 15 seconds to 20 seconds at the most per part. Right now, doing it this way is taking us about 20 minutes per part. Another product designed by AMH.